Good morning, everybody. I hope you've had a wonderful evening. Uh, it's now the weekend. Let's look at what our weekend energies are for the love interests, soulmates, twin flames in separation. So let's ask Spirit. Spirit, what is the energies, the current energies for today? For those in separation. And what popped out was reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best, right? So Spirit's telling us that we need to go inwards uh, today to work on ourselves, to understand ourselves. And I think we've seen this as a theme for this week anyway. Uh, we're also into a new month. It's June, so new energy is coming in. So Spirit, what other advice uh, can you give us? Uh, for those in separation, what are those current love energies you want to tell us about today, Spirit? Show me any more from this deck. Okay, we've got three here. So first one to pop out was heart. You begin to feel your heart beat faster when you're close, right? So I think that's kind of a hint that perhaps you guys are moving a little bit closer. Uh, recognition the divine will help you recognize signs and miracles so it seems like we're being divinely guided to see some signs in moment think of a special moment that brought you joy with your partner right and that's part of that reflection let's get to that moment that moment of joy uh, that you were able to share reflect on that find those energies and bring yourself to that frequency of that love that you felt okay with that let's ask see what other energies we have spirit show me what else we've got going on today for this connection okay we've got three cards out of this one don't leave me running but feeling lost right and so spirit saying that you know your person is kind of you know, in that runner state still, they're feeling lost, but they don't want you to leave. So they may be t running towards you instead of away from you this time around. But let's let's see what the rest of the, the energies want to uh, tell us for today. Let's get some more messages. So let's see what Spirit has to say. Spirit, can you give us some more information about this connection that we're channeling today? Okay, well... We have forgiveness, and we have reunion. And I think I might put forgiveness up in the reflection space, right? You're not going to get to hear before you get to hear. You have to be in that place of forgiveness, and that's why you need to reflect. Anything else you want to give us, Spirit? Any other messages? Oh, got a few. Irreplaceable, the way you love me, can never be matched. So they know that there's no no way to basically replace you with anybody else. And they've tried. Escape. I left when things got hard, right? And they, they left you because they were feeling something, and that was hard for them. However, they try to move on, but they can't because you're irreplaceable, right? New chapter, I'm trying to move on, but they can't because that's... You're irreplaceable. So let's see what other messages uh, we want. Uh, yes, uh, this is an uh, heavenly. This is for everyone. If you'd like cards specifically for yourself, uh, just uh, put your name and your uh, special person's name, and uh, I can pull some cards for you at the end of the read. Usually takes about ten minutes. Good morning, Keisha. All right. So let's see where we are with this connection today. And for those new to the channel, this is a general read. Uh, it may or may not resonate with you. The more you like, follow, and share, the more that the energies come in from you where I'm able to read it. But take what resonates within this reading and, you know, leave the rest behind. It's it, Because if it's a general reading, it may not be for everybody. Okay, so we have connecting, right? So... We have another kind of reunion. I don't know if that's a reunion yet. We're going to see what the energies of the cards are saying here. Uh, we have peace. So your person's starting to come to peace with all the drama that was going on on this side. 
and we have a single parent, right? And one of you may be a single parent, and that also was into the area what was kind of holding things uh, back, so to speak. And let's take a look at what other energies we see here, Spirit. What other energies do you want to give us for this connection we're channeling today? Okay. And so what we have is unrequited feelings. There's not enough love. So this was a one-sided relationship in the, in the instance, right? Express your love. So as you're going through this reflection, express the love that you have. Make sure you're being honest with yourself and honest with them. And open yourself up to others. This is how you will create new friendships and new love. So Spirit's also telling us that it's time to open up your heart a little bit because as you open up your heart you're going to open up for new possibilities so let's get some direct messages uh, from the divine masculine and again for those who are new in the channel divine masculine is an energy it is not a gender um, if you're watching this most likely you know man or woman you have the divine feminine energy that just means you have the creative magnetic energy doesn't mean that you're you know, effeminate, etc. So let's see what messages we have from your divine masculine. Let's see what he or she's higher self wants to tell us. And right away, we got two, three. So we got a few cards coming out on this one. And we have lust. No one can match what we had sexually, right? So it was a very physical connection. Ghost. I ghosted you to bide my time until I could get myself together. And we see that as a theme, right? They're looking for a way to come back, but they already know that there's so much trauma that it triggered them right away. Denial. I'm in denial about my feelings for you. And again, that's why they ghosted you, because they were afraid to feel. And then here's what we get, which we hate, which is divine timing. I needed more time to heal, but you but you were ready to be loved right then and there, right? I wanted to be that person for you, but the timing just wasn't right. And so the divine's telling us a little bit, and your uh, significant other's uh, higher self is saying, hey, wait a second. Um, there's, you know, the timing just wasn't right because I wasn't ready. I had too many things that I had to deal with. So let's get some more uh, messages from your person. Let's see if there's any other things that they want to say. These are direct messages from their higher self. It's their subconscious area that knows what's going on, but they consciously don't understand this, most likely. These. So what else does their higher self have to tell us today about this connection we're channeling, Spirit? Any other messages? A few. Okay. So we have... Twin Flame Journey, so if you are, any question about what's being channeled here, it's a Twin Flame Journey channel, so it's a Twin Flame, if this is making sense, and you're probably in a Twin Flame or High Level Soulmate connection, however you want to label, it's just the label, it just means a high soul connection, uh, a heavy soul contract, silent treatment, right, your person's right now probably separated because you're watching this as a separation uh, video. You make me nervous, right? And they get nervous around you because they, they start to feel and they don't know what to do with feelings. I want a new beginning with you, right? So we have two confirmation cards about a reunion. And please don't give up on me, right? And because they know that they're still in a place where they're healing or they're trying to heal or they're not, you know, fully in that space where they can give you what you, de what you deserve, uh, they're, you know, they, they, they know you're waiting and you're not happy about it um, but that's it so let's see what else we have so we have the thought of you with anybody else drives me crazy right this is the second time we've seen this uh, different deck but same message let's see what other messages we have All right so we have I have old cycles wounds karma and old patterns to clear up I'm working on it right and your, your divine masculine is working on it they're trying it may not be going as fast as you want and that's why we got that divine timing. You may think I'm trying to manipulate you, but I'm not. I feel safer in my patterns, right? And they, they, they felt safe just being in their toxicity. But they still want you, and they're fighting their feelings. Again, in their heads quite a bit. 
So let's get a, another round of love energies. So Spirit, can you give me some love energies in this connection? Tell me anything else we need to know. And 10, 10, when I, into this thing, when I, into this reading, when I got the first card there, so we'll look at what that is. Anything else, Spirit, we want to get from this deck? All right, we've got a few. All right, so Spirit saying you need a little bit of self-love, right? And that's why we're in reflection. In order to open up for all this, you have to love yourself first because if you're not in a energy of love for yourself, you can't love anybody else. That's just common sense. Magnetism, right? It's a very strong connection. But there were a lot of responsibilities either you or your special person had, and that took a strain on the relationship. And the divine is working with you on this journey, right? You're getting guided steps to great love. So the divine is trying to help you guys out within that connection, and you should be seeing signs. You should be noticing signs. So let's get, where are we in this twin flame journey? Let's see where we are. Spirit. Right away, one card popped right out, and we're in that reprogram the soul, right? Which is why we're in reflection here, because what's happening is we're in that healing space, right? Notice the hearts, right? We're in a healing space, and that healing space is to remove all those old programs that we've had forever and ever that are, you know, telling us we're not worthy, we're not this, we're not that, right? It's trauma, and it takes time to reprogram that. And that's where everybody's in the journey. So let's let's see what advice your higher self uh, for the divine feminines have at this point. Okay. Divine feminines, higher self, what advice do you want to give us for this connection we're channeling right now, these energies? And the higher self is, you are unique, be brave, a little crazy, but be yourself, right? And and that's your advice from your higher self is don't deny who you really are. Don't put a mask on. Don't try to accommodate somebody else's feelings for what you are, but to be yourself, your genuine self. And, you know, be vulnerable. And that's, again, going to bring all this new beginning because it's going to change your energy. So now let's see timing spirit. When will this reunion go? And, and just remember with, with timing, uh, it's a general idea. Spirit generally doesn't like to give us anything specific and when decision can change it. But let's see what, when can we expect that new beginning, that movement, that reunion. And spirit is telling us <laughs> you're wasting your time. Well, let me ask him one more time, spirit. Are we wasting our time next month, right? So what Spirit's saying is get, get yourself into that reflection space. And if you do, next month, perhaps something's going to move. The energies may change. And with that, that is my uh, reading for today. For those of you watching on the replay in YouTube and or TikTok, I thank you for watching, uh, for you know subscribing, following my channel. Uh, come see me live on my TikTok channel. If you follow me, you'll see me when I jump on live and I pull some cards for people. Uh, Heavenly Sent, if you are still there, um, let me know your question and uh, your special person's uh, initials. And I thank everybody else for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and follow and visit my other channels. Everything is available within the description. And I also do uh, personal readings. Uh, love only, though, uh, in the uh, in the description is an uh, email to get to me as well as uh, spiritual healing uh, that I do as well. Um, and that's also in the description.